Hello. In this video, we will explore how to add the ability to interact with a tray icon in a WinUI application using Notify icon. However, it's important to note that using Notify icon from Windows Forms in a WinUI application is not a standard practice, as WinUI is a new platform that doesn't rely on legacy Windows Forms controls. To begin with, we need to add the system Windows Forms and system drawing common libraries through the Reference Manager. In Visual Studio, navigate to Solution Explorer. Right-click on Dependencies and select Add Project Reference. In the Reference Manager, click the Browse button. Navigate to the location where you have the system Windows Forms and system drawing common files. Select them and click Add and OK. Now, let's write XAML and C-sharp code. Button click equals show icon button click. This is a button control that creates a button labeled show icon. It also specifies a click event handler named show icon button click that will be called when this button is clicked. Button click equals hide icon button click. This is another button control that creates a button labeled hide icon. It also specifies a click event handler named hide icon button click that will be called when this button is clicked. Content dialog x, name equals, dialog, primary button text equals, ok, close button text equals, cancel, this is a content dialog element representing a dialog window. It has a name, dialog, which allows access from code, and, ok, and, cancel, buttons at the bottom of the dialog. Content dialog title template, this section defines a template for the content dialog's title. Data template, this is a data template within which the title's content resides. Stack panel orientation equals horizontal. This stack panel container arranges elements horizontally, from left to right. Image source equals assets home.ico, width equals 16, height equals 16, margin equals 10, 0. This is an image that displays an icon. The icon is loaded from the home.ico file located in the assets folder. The icon is given width, height, and some left margin. Text block text equals dialog. This is a text block that contains the text dialog. c -sharp code. Creates a tray icon and allows the user to interact with the application through the icon's context menu. Let's break down what each method does and how it works. System windows forms .notify icon notify icon equals null. This declares a variable notify icon that will be used to manage the system tray icon. Initially, it's set to null. Private void show icon button click. This method is called when the show icon button is clicked. Inside the method, it checks if the notify icon variable exists. If it doesn't, a new instance of system windows forms.notify icon is created. Parameters for the system tray icon, such as balloon tip text, balloon tip title, text on hover, and the icon itself, are set. A click event handler for the icon, associated with the notify icon click method, is set. A context menu, context menu strip, for the icon is created, and two menu items, show balloon tip, and exit, are added. The context menu is assigned to the icon. Void Hide Icon Button Click, this method is called when the Hide Icon button is clicked. It checks if the Notify Icon variable exists, and if it does, it sets its visibility to false, hiding the icon in the system tray. Async Void Notify Icon Click, this method is called when the icon in the system tray is clicked. Inside the method, it checks which mouse button was clicked. If it's the left button, it calls the dialog.showAsync method to display the dialog window defined in XAML.
Void show balloon tip click, object sender, even targsy this method is called when the show balloon tip item is selected from the icon's context menu. It calls notify icon dot show balloon tip 2000 to display a tool tip on the icon in the system tray with a two second delay. Void exit menu item click, this method is called when the exit item is selected from the icon's context menu. That's it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and see you next time.